Hi, it's Lori from Peace, Love, and Therapy. I get calls every week from uh, usually a parent who calls me sometimes in a lot of distress saying, oh, my kiddo just told me they were trans or just found out from the school that they're identifying at school as trans. Um, and, of course, this brings up concerns. Um, anytime that you feel like something's going on with your kid that you didn't know about, that can be really shocking. So I'm going to try to give you some steps that you can take when this happens to you um, that will both be protective of your kid and help you get through this initial part of it. Um, the first is pause, don't react. Um, when your kid is coming to you, I'm sure they're feeling really vulnerable in most cases. Um, and you may indeed feel shocked. Um, so if you react in that way or you say things uh, just out of reaction without there being a lot of um, thought behind them, um, it can be damaging to your relationship with your kiddos. So really try to pause, don't react. Um, this is a place where you need to be reacting, processing with other people in your life, um, friends, a support group, your therapist, uh, someone else in your life, um, a trusted family member, um, and not necessarily with your kiddo. Secondly, the good news is you did a good job. Uh, your child trusts you, and so they've come to you with this really important information. So feel like you did something right. Um, as I said, kids that are coming out uh, feel really vulnerable. Um, and they may have been thinking about this for a long time um, and they have chosen to put their trust in you. So feel good about that, that you have the kind of relationship um, with your child where they can be honest and show the most vulnerable side of themselves. I want to say also it makes sense to ask the question, is my kid really trans? Um, because your job as a parent, I'm a parent, of grown kids now, um, is to protect your child. Um, and so you want to make sure um, that this is a valid thing. Um, so what I say to you is, when your child comes out, accept it. Even while you're doing some research and talking to other people and trying to understand um, what this means, um, but questioning your child directly about is this really true? May be really invalidating for them and, and may keep them from talking to you um, openly in the future. So, what do I do about it? Well, here's your number one job love your kid. Um, you have practice at this. Um, I always say to parents, uh, I picture it like a table. You're the legs under the table, right? Get under the table, be the legs, support your kid. Um, that doesn't mean that you understand what's going on necessarily, that you fully accept it, that you know what to do about it. Um, and even while you have questions, you can still be a support. And that's the main thing um, that your child needs from you, is to simply love them and continue to support and validate them. The next thing is validation. Um, Validating your kid in the present moment when your kid comes home from school and says, boy, somebody called me a derogatory name or I felt really uncomfortable around my friends today or around um, other people at school to say to them, I'm so sorry, right? That must be really tough. You're just in the present moment talking about their feelings and kind of validating that this is a tough, tough journey. Um, I think the problem comes when we try to immediately problem solve it and say, well, then Maybe you shouldn't dress so girly or masculine tomorrow. Maybe you shouldn't talk about this um, to start giving them advice. When they, they really need is validation. They just need you to be right here with them, um, sort of processing what's going on and how all of this is coming at them um, because it can be a lot. Um, another thing is really important is to practice using your kids if they've chosen a new name that feels more comfortable for them. And if they've asked you to use certain pronouns, um, you know, if you've seen your child as male their whole life and now they're saying, I want to be called Lily and I want my pronouns to be she, um, her, hers. 
it may take some practice. Um, one of the tips I tell parents is um, when they're talking about their child, either to the other parent or to people um, that they uh, in their circle, is to use the child's new name and the pronouns that they use. Because if you use different ones, if you go back to the original ones, and then you try to just switch it up with a kid, your brain uh, will likely be overloaded and you'll get it wrong. And you'll probably get it wrong with your kiddo. Um, one of the great things about using the name and pronouns they want is that you will likely see them at some point light up about that, right? You got it right. It feels really validating to them. It's very um, much a way that they see that you're accepting them and that you support them. Uh, much in the same way if you've ever had a kiddo, you know, who said, I want to be called buddy from now on. Maybe you went with that. Um, think of it in the same way. This is a preference uh, for your kiddo, even if you don't quite get it. Um, and to be really supportive, you know, practice those and practice them even when you're not with your child. Another thing is, um, I kind of practice this as a mom when my kids are growing up. I wanted to be the house where all the kids wanted to be because I wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> I wanted to know um, their friends. I wanted their friends to feel comfortable with me because I felt like I knew more about their lives. Uh, whenever we had a New Year's Eve party, we had a teen New Year's Eve party right upstairs. Um, I just felt safer about that. I knew where my kids were. I knew their friends. Um, some of their friends were going through really difficult things in high school, and I felt like our house was a, a place where they could come and bake a cookie with me. You know, yeah, I made cookies, I admit it. Um, or just, you know, hang out and feel like that they were okay and they were accepted. So make your house a place where the other kids want to hang out and where kids who may be going through um, this gender identity, you know, you're using the right pronouns and you're validating them and you get to know your kids friends. Um, don't, I've said this sort of said this before, but don't process your feelings about this with your kids. Um, in much the way that many adult decisions and many adult struggles as a parent are not things we necessarily share with our children. Um, you know, I think some of us have gone through days where we didn't even like our kiddo today, right? Because they haven't been really rude to us or done something we just couldn't get our head around or so we don't process that with our kid. I don't like you today, right? We don't process with our kids some of our own internal struggles. Maybe there are things going on at work that would worry your kids. You don't process that with them. I feel like this falls in the same category. Um, your processing of your feelings around this and your struggles around this and your questions around this um, probably need to take place in an adult arena. There are support groups uh, for parents of LGBT and even just transgender um, parents in many places that you can go to. Uh, you can talk with trusted, uh, supportive friends or family. You can, you know, talk to a therapist. Find a therapist who knows about this, right? Um, most therapists don't have a lot of um, experience with transgender kids in their families. Um, it's kind of one of the things that I do a lot of. And I think it's really um, important for you to know that you can help process that with the therapist, particularly if you go to someone who's experienced in family therapy they may see you individually uh, to process some of that stuff away from your kiddo or see you with your spouse or your significant other to process some of those um, feelings that might not be very validating for your kiddo. Um, here's another thing is kind of team up with your kid um, and do some research. I guarantee you when your kid comes out to you, they know way more about being transgender uh, in this whole world than you do. They know the terminology. They know about hormones. They may know a lot of information, even pretty young kids. Uh, my youngest and my practice is 11, and they know a lot more than mom. <laughs> so um, one of the ways that you can sort of catch up is to say to the kid, what are some things I could read? Uh, where do you go on the internet to get information? Um, asking a trusted therapist for books that you can read, asking at your support group, um, where did you guys get information? Um, really finding good information, uh, not information that says we can cure your kid of being transgender, that's not really a goal. Um, it could be really harmful to your kiddo. Um, you know, there's a statistic of about 40% of trans kids attempt to take their life because they're so 
uh, feel so separate and are um, maybe depressed. And, and because, because this incongruency between their body and the brain and how they have to walk through the world, but <laughs> if they do not, um, you know, meet a medical or mental health professional, if they meet a medical or mental health professional that's not affirming, um, then that risk goes up to 60%. So 50% of those kids, 50% more uh, might attempt to take their lives um, than before they had a non-affirming uh, professional. And the reason I bring up that in this context is that when you go to get information and it's talking about we can cure your kid, if it's talking about things that um, are not validating for your child, um, it can hit them in the same way. Um, it can hit them in a way that you really want them to change and you're not accepting of who they are and that can increase uh, mental health risk. So um, another thing is I hear parents saying, well, they just run with a bunch of queer kids. I, I, I don't know. My, um, my kids grew up and I never said they run with a bunch of straight kids. Right? So... Um, it makes sense that kids that have things in common would hang out together, would form friendships, would be friends on Facebook. Um, so if a kiddo feels like I'm kind of queer, or I might be trans, or maybe I'm gay, those kids may hang out together because they feel apart in a similar way. Um, and I know some parents worry about the influence of other kids in the same way they worry that, about that with straight kids, right? And I, I don't know that that's an invalid concern, but I think trying to make a relationship between the hangout with these kids and that caused them to be trans, um, I don't think that that's a relationship that's, that's really true. Um, I do think that when kids hang out with other kids who are queer, right, meaning they could be gay, trans, whatever they are, they, they might be more opening to questioning what's going on with them, but them exploring what's going on with them can be, can be a, healthy, a healthy thing. Um, the other thing I want to say to you just in the end is get some support for yourself. Um, this isn't all about your kiddo. This affects the whole family, even the extended family. Even if you um, are able to be really accepting and validating, you may have extended family members, particularly older family members who are kind of gray-headed like me, who may not get in and may not be validating. And so you're going to have to walk that balance between protecting your kid and staying connected with family. Um, so there's a lot there's a lot in there to process. And and, you know, a lot of difficult things may come up for you. So, so get some support for yourself. Uh, look for a support group where you live. Um, find a therapist. Find a, a really good friend. Find someone who can help you. Um, maybe you have, um, you know, a very open um, pastor. Um, there are churches across the country called MCC, Metropolitan Community Church. Um, those are very open and affirming churches, and there may be a pastor there that could help you if you can't find someone else. Or they might provide some counseling services that would be affirmative. Anyway, um, I'd love to know what you think about this issue. I'd love to hear from parents who uh, have gone through this or they're in the process of this. Um, and I'd also love to hear from trans people who came out to their parents and what their parents' reactions were. Um, I think we can always... Um, find a way to learn from each other. So I'll be really excited to hear from you and get some discussion going about this really important topic when your kid comes out to you as a trans. Thank you so much.